There's something very modern about Kunichika's prints. Their concern in many cases with celebrity and with celebrity culture. These were prints that were designed by Kunichika. Several hundred of these prints would be made of each individual image and these would then be sold to collectors. Who were the collectors? Well, they were fans in the same way as we now have fans for pop music. These were sold very cheaply, typically for the price of two bowls of noodles. I suppose that if you're producing images that are going to sell to fans, you've got to appeal to the fan. Nowadays, what every fan would want would be a selfie and the 19th century equivalent that Kunichika could provide was a full colour image of the actor sitting at his dressing room mirror. And I suppose the dream of the fan is that it could be them. They could be there actually holding the fan, a fan holding a fan to uh, fan the actor. I think that's something that we would recognise nowadays as being very familiar to us, the relationship between a hero and a fan, the relationship between a celebrity and their audience. There are three big kabuki actors that dominate Kunichika's lifetime. There's Danjiro the Ninth, Kukugoro the Fifth, and Sudanji the First. I really like this print here. It was made in January 1864. This one in the middle here is actually Danjiro the Ninth when he was much younger. One of the reasons I wanted this particular print was that Van Gogh had actually owned two parts of it. He owned the center one and the one on the left. He didn't know Kunichika by name. He didn't know this print was by Kunichika. It was enough for Van Gogh that it was all part of the genius of Japan.